Hello everyone and welcome to episode 152 of this Let's Play series of Star Trek Online. My name is Winters and you are very welcome. So this episode is kind of like the part two uh, to the previous episodes uh, regarding the summer event. In our last episode, uh, we went over the dailies uh, in order to get the ship. Uh, we talked about um, uh, the monkeys and the birds, uh, which... Kind of sounds a bit funny, birds and the bees. But anyway, um, uh, this episode I'm actually going to show you some of the events. Now what I'm going to show you is the power board race, the Horgon hunt, and the biathlon. The artifact scavenger hunt is freaking crap. I hate it. Um, and I'm not going to torture you guys by going through that. But uh, I'm going to try and go through the power board race, the Horgon hunt, and the biathlon. So, what you have to do is you have to come to the promenade. Uh, if it is your first time, you need to go to the vendor here and you need to pick up a power board for 1000 EC. If you have already done that and you have 50 favors, just pick up an ordinary standard board like what I have here. If you have 1000 favors, uh, pick up one of the really good ones. And then you come here to the starting point. Uh, you need to click on then this join race and get ready to go. Do 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 and uh, yeah, basically, you know, like you, you just follow the course, simple as that. Um, it's not even that. Um, uh, pe it, it doesn't really penalise you for going off course uh, a whole lot. Now, if you go drastically off course, it will penalise you, um, uh, but a little bit is okay. Now, if you can jump. Uh, when you reach the top of those um, uh, ramps, uh, you will get a power boost. And as you can see there, we went through the middle of those uh, other arrow things and we got a power boost there. And if we can do it here, there, look, see us kind of glowing purpley color? We get a power boost. And we'll try another one here. And we got another one. Excellent. Gives you a little bit of a power boost. Got another. Got two that time. Crud. Ah! Well, that was embarrassing. Oh, this is going to be tight for first place. Uh, maybe not so tight. Uh, yeah, and then there's uh, flags at the end of the race, and um, you need to get up beside them. Look, see what we've got there? Six tropical tags and 50 favors. Very nice for second place. Um, if we got first place, we would have got 12 tags, and I think it's 75 favors we would have got, if memory serves correctly. Um... And yeah, that's it. Wow, that was just a two-man race. Okay. Um, so, uh, trying to think. Um, yeah, those tags. Uh, you go back over to the promenade. You go up to the second level. And you talk to the researcher guy that is in here. And you start researching those tags. You will get a monkey for those tags. And uh, you just have to raise him up until he matures, and then you can turn the monkeys in for marks and any type of marks that you want. You have a, a choice of marks. Uh, every type of mark there is in the game, you can pick that type of mark, um, or yeah, just you know one of them. Now the next event is the Horgon Hunt. The Horgon Hunt you require a floater. And I strongly recommend uh, this route that I'm about to show you guys. Um, whoa, crap. Come, go. Ah, crud. All right, so in terms of the map, here is the resort. This is the promenade. So this is where the race started, the uh, power board race. And... Um, 
we went from here all the way along here underneath that arch we jumped across here went around here through here round here round here round this round here and then the finish line here uh, so uh, resort promenade Quinn's camp okay we are here obviously and the route that we're going to take we're going to go from here we're going to go around this side um going to go up here then we're going to go down along here we're going to go here then out this way then back down along this way up here and we're going to finish around here somewhere and i believe that this is truly the most efficient route that you can possibly take in order to complete the Horgon hunt and it's very very simple and I'm going to show that to you guys now the only thing is I have to wait for the event to start and I suppose I, I didn't really talk about that in the last episode uh, every event is uh, scheduled throughout the hour so we can see here, look, Horgon Hunt begins in one minute. Uh, five seconds left on the power board race. Um, every event is scheduled, and you cannot do an event until it begins. So we have one minute to the begin of the Horgon Hunt. And then it will begin. Uh, we have 16 minutes until the uh, biathlon. Um, so, yeah, there's not much that we can do. Just wait. Now, just in case you're wondering, as you can see, there's a few people waiting over there. The reason why I'm here is because the first Horgon to appear will either be around this area or it'll be around that area. So if it's not here, I'm just going to go over, fly over here since I'm going that direction anyway. So that's why I'm waiting here, because the Horgon might be here. Whereas those dumbasses are waiting over there, and if the Horgon isn't there, they're going to fly over here and then fly back. There we are. Start. So, I want to hunt for Horgons. Except. Okay. <clears throat> it was over here. We can see it highlighted on the minimap as well. Collect Horgon. We can see it down here. And we get three favors. Now, at the end of this, we will get 75 favors. And all the while, while we do this, we are collecting favors um, at the same time as well. So there's another Horgon around here. See it highlighted there. And we got another three favors. Then we go up this way. There's the uh, resort. Got two favors that time. Now the next one is either going to be here or it's going to be over there. And it's here. Two. Uh, the other place would have been here. So they're always in the same place. Well, no, all right. I'll take that back. They're always in one of two places. And after you've done this a couple of times, you get to know uh, where both of those locations are. The other one, uh, it could have been, would have been there. And the next one then is over here. So you can see we're building up a nice little stockpile of favors uh, while we're doing this. And as I said, then we get 75 at the very end. So you can end up with about 100 favors um, just for doing the Horgon hunt. And actually, the other thing that I haven't mentioned now, uh, but I did talk about in the last episode, was that while doing this event, all right, while uh, searching out the Horgons, there is a chance, and I stress that it is a chance, that you can get one of these. A rising tropical bird egg. It is only a chance, though. 
all right it's not guaranteed but this is if you're doing this quite regularly you will most likely end up with a crap ton of eggs that you can hatch later on into rising tropical birds and then turn them in for whatever type of marks you want <clears throat> just two more to go and the last one is over here It's either going to be here or it's going to be up here at the top. Uh, it looks like it's up here at the top. And this is the final one. And now we turn in the mission. 75 tags. Ta-da! Right. So that's that one done. Now we are going to go over to Quinn's camp. Gwyn's camp, I should say. This is it here. And uh, this is where the uh, biathlon uh, starts. And it looks like I have more missions ready to turn in. Ooh, a thousand dilithium. Thank you very much. I will definitely take that. Hey, level up. Wonderful. Um, okay, there is nothing to do, only wait. So we can do that. Well, I am in the wrong place, am I? No. Hmm. Okay, I guess we just wait. There we go, that's what I was looking for. Alright, let's get into position. Now, for this, since it's a biathlon, as you would expect, there are two stages to it. And you are going to need your power board, and you are also going to need your floater. And just like the power board race, um, you have to hit the join button in order to join it. If you activate your floater before you get to the floater stage you will be disqualified and I mean straight away you will instantly be disqualified so don't get too friendly with that button uh, until you have to or when you're supposed to I suppose is what I should say <clears throat> And yeah, we're basically just going back uh, the opposite direction uh, that we did for the power board race. Woohoo, super jump. Okay, now there's a turn coming up here that goes around to the right, and you need to be careful with it. Um, because uh, if you've got one of these crappy power boards like I have, you can drift and go off course. And you need to cut this corner sharp. And see where the arrows are pointing? Don't activate your floater until you get here. Okay? And now this stage, as 
you no doubt have already seen, you have to fly through these rings. These are your markers. And we are approaching the end of the course. There it is down there. And we came in fourth or lower and we got two tags and 15 favors. Not great, but it's better than nothing, you know, at the end of the day. Um, right, uh, something else that I'm going to show you guys. Uh, we'll go down here, because uh, we actually haven't gone into the resort. And um, if we go in here, this is the back entrance. Um, we can see here, we actually have bank, mail, and exchange access. So very handy. You just need to actually go into the resort to get that. Um, there's a couple of vendors here that have crappy things. Um like that Ferengi, for example. Uh, you can play a double here as well. Um, just simply click on that and then play a double. And there's the double wheel. Um, you type in your bet, whatever you want to bet, and then you bet on whatever number of slots you want to bet on um, and pick your numbers. And uh, just like double or anywhere else, then place your bet. So I've bet 300, 100 on three different slots there. And, um, yeah, double as per normal. Let's see what we get here with this one. Ooh, 20. What do you freaking do? Okay, um, if we go out here, uh, actually, we'll go out here. Um, we can see the boardwalk. There's the, uh, finish point for the, uh, power board race. This is the, um, um, what do you call it, uh, the vendor uh, that give, give us the, um, the floater for EC. This area here is where the dance party is. Uh, I'm not going to show you that, that guys, because it's, it's... Alright, the dance party, basically uh, there will be an NPC up here. You join the dance party and the NPC will tell you uh, what moves to do. And what you need to do is you need to go to your emotes list, alright? This is the easy thing. Pin it, okay? And use these different dance emotes when you are prompted to. So, like, one of them will be do the leg kick, do the robot, do the running man, do the side step, do the snake, wave your hands. And uh, you just have to keep on doing whatever dance moves uh, you're told to do. And at different milestones, um, you will get favors for it. Um, right. Next. Uh, Taylor. There's a Taylor here. This is the, the Taylor. Um, and uh, this vendor here is another way of accessing the summer event store. Uh, but items are uh, broken down, like floaters, power boards swimwear and then sort of general um summer event stuff uh we can see there's some more clothes there uh the uh, training manuals the kit modules and uh the non-combat pets and there's the uh the eggs as well actually uh, and then you have gpl items uh, because it's a gpl vendor um this is always something handy to have and i'm gonna pick that up actually Subspace nullifier. Uh, subspace party nullifiers. If you ever see people that uh, throw out those party balls and then your character starts dancing, um, if you have one of these uh, subspace party nullifier, you will not be affected and you will not dance. So there's a little tip for you. Um, right. Um, I'm. I'm not going to show you guys the artifact scavenger hunt. I I don't like the event. Um, 
basically, the way it works is... How do I explain this? Um, okay, so, uh, right here, I'll quickly show you what to do. You do get 50 favors, alright, so that's not bad. So, what you do is you have to initialize your artifact uh, scanner, okay? And then you move in any direction, okay? You can do short steps, you can do long steps, and then you activate the scanner again. And you can see an area was highlighted for us there. And it says here on the left, we are closer. So if we keep on going this direction now for a good bit, and we'll go down here. Activate the scanner again. All right, so it was pointing this direction and we're closer. And that's it. Uh, you just keep on doing it until you eventually find the artifact. If you go too far, um, or uh, if you go further away from the artifact, um, it will tell you in red writing that you have that you are further away instead of closer. See here, it's in green writing. It says you're closer. Um, And I just realized that I'm actually doing this event now on camera and I didn't really plan to. Let's see if we can get it quickly. We're closer, closer. Alright, we'll try and uh, we'll go a good bit this time. Let's go down here. Uh, search for artifact. Well, we've gone too far. See, we're further away. Closer, so it's we're we're very close to it now. Must be down here somewhere. But 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 I don't understand. That was showing. Okay, gotta be getting close now. In a second, it should. There we are. We found it. There it is. This is the dig site. Retrieve artifact. If you've done quite a few of these, um, no doubt you would figure out where the different locations are uh, in order to, you know, to, to find the artifact. So if, you, if if it was leading you in a certain direction, um, you know, you, you probably would know straight away, well, not straight away, but you'd be able to figure out um, quite quickly uh, which location it's at, or at least uh, narrow it down to a group of locations, assuming that you've you done enough uh, scavenger hunts to figure that out. I haven't, I don't really like it. Um, so yeah, I haven't really done many of them, and I don't know the locations. Definitely not like um, the uh, Horgon Hunt. I, looked, I, know, I know the locations for every one of those things. Um, why did I come here when I could have just done this? Oh, I'm stupid. Alright, it's another 50 favors, uh, so that's good. Anyway, we'll leave it there for this episode. Thanks a million for watching, folks. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And as always, please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. My name is Winters, and I will see you next time. So until then, take care.